than you, Dr. Tariq Shawiq, because I was enrolled in the presidential leadership program. Uh, and uh, he's the one who did the interview for me. So uh, we got to know each other from uh, this program. Uh, and, uh, and when he became the, the Minister of Education and Technical Education, he asked if I can help in this part. Actually, I was uh, pregnant during this period when he asked me to join his team. And uh, before giving birth with one month, he explained to us the new vision that he has for the new education system. And I got really excited for it. And uh, accordingly, after giving birth with two weeks, <laughs> I, I came back to work. Uh, he was even surprised because <laughs> I came so quickly. Most of the Egyptians uh, actually didn't like the old education system. And uh, they were all uh, struggling to change it and have something uh, new, modern, that matches today's life. The idea of changing the mindset for the parents, it was very difficult and challenging for us. So changing something totally new. We are not just changing one or two subjects. No, we are changing the whole education system. So we wanted to convince the parents as that themselves that we are doing something for the sake of their, of their children. So we wanted he, the minister himself to talk and explain his vision to the public. Because we know, you know, that when, uh, when we depend on maybe a journalist or something, sometimes they miss a key word that might do a huge shift in the meaning. So we wanted the minister himself to be the, like the only spokesperson to explain the idea of the new education system. We asked the minister to do it by himself because we wanted to reach to every home, every family, every parent, uh, to let them understand our vision. People here in Egypt want the, to feel that uh, the minister is like them. They want, him to, they want to see him a lot in uh, school visits. They want to see him speaking a lot to them, whether in social media, talk show, and so on. That's why we, we want the minister himself to speak a lot to the public. Usually, it does many visits to, uh, to schools. So you usually want to, uh, to have this kind of image, the down-to-earth minister. <laughs> We depend on all the different types of media channels uh, because in Egypt the audience are so fragmented. Each one has its own. If you are talking about uh, generation maybe uh, 60, they, they still use the newspaper. If you are talking about uh, generations uh, 20 and less, uh, they are always on social media. Uh, maybe 20, uh, 30 and plus uh, online news. We have our own page, uh, the Ministry of Education social media page on Facebook, uh, and we have our own account as well on Instagram. So we started posting these videos on, uh, on Facebook. Many of the people have uh, done uh, shares for it and uh, cross-posting and so on. And then uh, it went very viral. So we are usually trying to tackle uh, or, or to talk across all media channels to reach the whole population because the education system is not only um, impacting uh, a certain uh, age or a certain social class. No, it's, it's affecting all the, the generations.